Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's Grade 6 Practice Problems Review is on Unit 4, Lesson 11, Using an Algorithm to Divide Fractions. In Problem 1, we're going to select all statements that show the correct reasoning for finding 14 fifteenths divided by 7, fifth, or 7 fifths. Um, A says multiplying 14 fifteenths by 5 and then by 1 seventh. That does work. Dividing 14 fifteenths by 5, nope. Multiplying 14 fifteenths by 7, and then, nope. And then multiplying 14 fifteenths by 5, good, there so far, and then dividing by 7, that is absolutely true. As we see here, that multiplying by 1 seventh is the same thing as then dividing by 7. In question two now, Claire said that four-thirds divided by five-halves is ten-thirds. She reasoned that four-thirds th times five is twenty-thirds, and twenty-thirds divided by two is ten-thirds. Explain why her answer and reasoning are incorrect. Find the correct quotient. Well, one way to solve this question is just to show the correct work. We could take four-thirds, and we're actually going to first multiply this not by five, but by 2, and that's going to get us 8 thirds. Once I'm at 8 thirds, I can then divide by 5. Now we've also learned that dividing by 5 is the same thing as multiplying by 1 fifth, which I think is actually easier to do here, and so that gets us our correct solution of 8 fifteenths. Now as we learned in this lesson today with this algorithm, 4 thirds divided by 5 halves, what we can do is take our 4 thirds and we're not going to multiply by 5 halves is what she did. We're going to multiply by the reciprocal here at 2 fifths. And once we do that, we also get 8 fifteenths. Again, if you look at the steps that take place here, doing 4 thirds times 2, well, there's the 4 times 2. And then we multiplied by the 1 fifth, well, there's the multiplying by the 1 fifth there in blue. Problem 3, find the value of 15 fourths divided by 5 eighths. Show your reasoning. Well, the first thing we could do is take 15 fourths and multiply this by 8. What this would do is get us 15 times 8 is 120 divided by 4, and well, that would be 30. That tells us there are 30 groups of those 1 eighths in the 15 fourths. And then if we take that 30 and divide by 5, that's going to be 6. That's what we are doing. Um, a lot in our previous lesson. And again, if we just kind of go through where we're getting those numbers, we multiplied here by 8. And then we ended up dividing by that 5. And now what we're trying to develop here is this algorithm to keep things simpler as well. If I have 15 fourths, and it was originally divided by 5 eighths. One thing we can start to do is to take 15 fourths and now multiply this. What did we multiply it by? Well, 8, and then we were dividing it by 5. And so once you get it to this step, there are a lot of different ways of solving. 
But if I just multiplied straight across, 15 times 8 is 120. 4 times 5 is 20. And if I take 120 and divide it by 20, I get 6. A couple different ways to going here, and that's the beauty of math. Problem 4. Kieran has 2 and 3 fourths pounds of flour. When he divides the flour into equal sized bags, he fills 4 and 1 eighth bag. How many pounds fit in each bag? Write a multiplication and a division equation to represent the question and then answer the question. Show your reasoning. Well, I'm going to play a little spoiler alert here and just tell you right off the bat that our answer we're looking for here is two thirds pounds per bag. And now, as we look for our reasoning, what we're doing here is we're taking our two and three fourths and we're dividing it amongst four and one eighth bags. And that's going to equal, well, that's what we're looking for. As for our multiplication equation from this, we're taking that four and one eighth, multiplying it by the pounds that are fitting in each bag, and that's going to be the two and three fourths pounds of flour. And so far, we have our solution, and we have our division and multiplication equations, and now let's work to get to our actual solution. As we take our division question here, 2 and 3 fourths divided by 4 and 1 eighths. Let's get these into improper fractions first. And 2, if we look at it into fourths, is the same thing as 8 fourths along with our 3 fourths. So we're looking at 11 fourths here. 4, if we try to get those into eighths, is the same thing as 32 eighths by, again, 4 times 8, along with that 1 eighth. So we're looking at the question 11 fourths divided by 33 eighths. And now using our algorithm to divide, we're going to take 11 fourths and multiply this by 8 30 thirds where we're taking the reciprocal of the 33 eighths, and it's 8 30 thirds. Now, the most basic way to multiply this is just to multiply straight across. 11 times 8 is 88. 4 times 33 is 132. And then you can work to simplify it down from there. Um, if I divide by 2 on top and bottom, I get 44 over 66. If I divide by 2 again, I get 22 over 33. And now here it doesn't look like I have much, but I could divide by 11, and that gets me 2 thirds. And that is my solution there of 2 thirds that we were looking for from the beginning. Now, just to kind of show you here on the left side underneath problem four, another way to simplify this type of problem, 11 fourths times 8 30 thirds. If you look on the sides here at this 11 and 33, is there a number that I could divide out of there to make this multiplication question easier? And sure enough, you can divide an 11 from each. And so if I divide an 11 from each, 11 divided by 11 is 1. 33 divided by 11 is 3. And then likewise, if I look at the other side here, at this 4 and this 8, is there a number I can divide out of both of those? Sure, 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 divided by 4 is 2. And so now, when I simplify this, I have 1 over 1 times 2 over 3. Well, that seems a lot easier if you can break it down and you get the 2 
thirds pounds per bag that we were looking for. So whether you simplify, multiply it you know, straight across and get the 88 over 132 and then uh, divide tops and bottoms until you simplify it all the way down, that is a perfectly fine method. Or whether you can look at these, um, the opposite crosses here and simplify it early and then multiply straight across, that works as well. Now as we get into some of our review questions here, divide four and a half by the following unit fractions. One eighth, one fourth, and one sixth. Well the first thing I'd like to do is take our four and a half and get this into an improper fraction. Now four is the same thing as eight over two, and then we have the four and a half, so we're really looking at nine halves here. And so if we just take a look at this and kind of move it over here to the side, just to get it out of our way for a moment, now we can take our nine halves and divide by one eighth. Well, we've learned that dividing by one eighth here is the same thing as multiplying by eight, and so we'll get 72 divided by two, which is 36. Our nine halves, four and a half, divided by one fourth, all right, nine halves times four, which remember, the 8 was 8 over 1, the 4 is 4 over 1, it's still multiplying by the reciprocal here. We get 36 over 2, which is 18. And then same thing here, 9 halves divided by 1 sixth. 9 halves times 6, again, 6 over 1. You get 54 over 2, which 54 divided by 2 is 27. After charging for one-third of an hour, a phone is at two-fifths of its full power. How long will it take for the phone to charge completely? Then decide whether each equation can represent the situation. Well, are we taking the one-third of an hour times something to get the two-fifths? Now, that's not going to tell us um, the time it's going to take to answer or to charge completely. One-third divided by two-fifths. Yeah, we're, we're, we took the third of an hour and we divided it into the two-fifths power. That, that will give us something here. What about two-fifths divided by one-thirds? No, not that way. And then lastly, two-fifths times that time that it'll take to charge completely, equaling one-third? Yeah. And last today, Elena and Noah are filling each filling a bucket with water. Noah's bucket is two-fifths full and the water weighs two and a half pounds. How much does Elena's bucket weigh if her bucket is full and her bucket is identical to Noah's? Well, we're going to write multiplication division equations. We're going to draw diagrams. So let's do the diagram first. That's usually where on these questions I'd like to start because the diagram can give us so much information on the question itself. Well, Here's my bucket of water. And Noah's bucket is two-fifths full. Well, that means we're going to break this thing down into fifths. And it's two-fifths full. And so shade in here are two-fifths. Now, this two-fifths full represents two and a half pounds. Now, what are we trying to solve for? We know Elena's bucket is the entire thing. And so we're trying to figure out how much does that weigh. Well, if I break my two and a half pounds down into these two boxes here that Noah has, I know that, well, two split is one, one and one, and a half split is one-fourth 
and one fourth. So the two and a half breaks into one and a fourth and one and a fourth, which then must mean each of these is one and a fourth as well. And so what do I end up having? Well, one, two, three, four, five whole units, and then five fourths as well. And that's not really a good answer because our five fourths, remember, is the same thing as one and a fourth. So my solution here is six and a fourth pounds. Now we still need to get our, um, our division and multiplication questions written. So ask ourselves, what did we really do here? And I'm going to write this underneath problem seven. That's where I've got some room. We took our two and a half pounds of water and we divided it into two-fifths of the bucket. And that's going to equal how much the entire bucket can hold. Or we can take our two-fifths times how much the entire bucket can hold, and that became the two and a half pounds. Now, if we lock in on that division question real quick, two and a half was five halves, right? And then we divided that by two-fifths. Well, if we just practice our algorithm one last time in this lesson, that would get us five halves times five halves which would be 25 fourths, which would be six and a fourth. So, it works. It works, it works, it works. Except my pen there on six and one fourth kind of does. <laughs> Anyways, that is it for this grade six practice problems review on unit four, lesson 11, using an algorithm, using, wow, using an algorithm to divide fractions. Good luck.